What's good fam, it's your boy Gels and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're gonna go over Pro Tools. Let's go. Like I said, family, in this video, we're gonna go over Pro Tools. Some of you guys have never used Pro Tools before, or you're fairly new to Pro Tools. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of Pro Tools, some of the things Pro Tools can do, and some of the functions. So look here, enough of me talking. Let's head over to the computer and learn Pro Tools. All right, guys, so once you Click on Pro Tools. This is what it'll look like. You have an area here where you can put your uh, name of your file, local storage session, or you can create from an actual template here. Uh, these are the templates that I use. They also have some stock templates that you can choose from. You have your file type, your bit depth, sample rate, IO settings, and a location of where you want to store your files, me personally. Uh, whenever I'm working on my laptop, I always move the files to hard drives and stuff like that. So I'll just work straight off of my desktop. Then you have your create, your recent, you have projects, and you have getting started. These are some of their stock templates and some information about Pro Tools. I'll go ahead and create. Let me change the name of this. All right, here's a name. I'll go ahead and create this. And this is what you'll get when Pro Tools comes up. You have a click track here if you're gonna use it. If not, just delete it. But you have your file with all your create new, your saves, bounce mix, import, export, stuff like that. Then you have your edit. You have your view, everything you may wanna view. You have your track, you can start new tracks, group, duplicate, make it active, freeze, commit, bounce, stuff like that. And go into a clip you want to work with a specific clip this is what you'll see you have your event in case you want to work with a specific event also your audio suite all your plugins then you have your options you have your setup where you have your hardware playback engine disk allocation etc then you have your window these are your different windows you may want to see there's your mix window like I said, you have your edit screen. This is the Avid link where you can purchase stuff and this is your help. Like I said, this is the over, this is the overview of the Pro Tools session. This is exactly what you're gonna see uh, when you pull up, when you pull up your Pro Tools session. So when you click here, you have your shuffle, your slip, your spot, your grid, and all those kinds of things. Then you have here, these are basically your zoom functions. You can recall different zooms. And these are all the tools that you would use. So, which is really, really great. Then you have this main screen here, which pretty much shows you everything about your track that you need to know. This is a great, great tool to have. Kudos to Pro Tools on this. And these are your start stop functions. This is your grid, your nudge, how much you want to nudge by. You want to nudge by one sample. You want to nudge by 10,000 samples. Just nudging uh, different tracks to the left or the right. Like I said, this is your grid, half note, quarter note, eighth note, etc. Pro Tools is, is really, really, um, they're really improving their, their, their layout i didn't really like pro tools at the beginning uh that's why i actually started working with studio one but pro tools is actually making a lot of great improvements that are really 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 beneficial man so now let's hit this window here let's go to the mix screen and check this mix screen out so this is what it'll look like this is what it'll look like so let's add some tracks here let's create three mono tracks this is what your mix screen will look like, which is great. And to add the plugins, 
All you can simply do is click on that, hit plugin. All your plugins are here. Or if you know the name of your plugin, you just hit search and you could type that thing in, which is really, 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 really great. Like I said, up here, you pretty much have everything you need when it comes to tracks. Got your waveforms, your clip, your rulers, all those type of things. Pro Tools is really, really kind of self-explanatory when you start getting into it. So let's check out the audio suite. They break up everything by what it is. So here's all your EQs. Here's all your dynamics, your pitch, pitch shifts, your reverb, delays, modulation, harmonics, noise reduction, and so forth and so forth. All of your plugins are broken up. So you need an EQ, hit your EQ. Well, like I said, if you know exactly what that plugin is, you could just type it in. Another good thing about Pro Tools, you could be in this edit window here and actually mixing your record from the edit. So here you have your input, of course, then you can go, you can adjust the volume here. You can adjust the pan and you can add your plugins, man. You cannot beat that. You could do every single thing that you need to do from this edit window, which is very, very good, which is an easy, easy outlook when mixing, man. You don't have to bounce between the two. You don't have to go to a whole bunch of different screens. You can do everything from this edit window if you would like. Me personally, I don't really do it. Um, I like having the separate screens and I like seeing things separate. Also, uh, with the inserts here, you have your inserts AE, inserts F through J. If you're not using those, you can click on this little button here to take certain inserts away just to give you some more room on your screen. You're not using all the sins. Uh, you're not using all the inserts and stuff like that. Or if you want to see like your mic preamps, your instruments, you can check those and it'll show those here as well, which is a great, great thing. Um, now you would just arm your track record and record, man. It's that, that simple when dealing with uh, Pro Tools. So, man, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Of course, like we could really, really dive in. But this is just an overview for uh, all our new artists, new engineers that want to know a little bit more about Pro Tools. That's what this video is for. I just want to show you how to start recording and to know where things are in Pro Tools and stuff like that. If you have any issues with your setup, you can go to hardware. This is where all of your um, interfaces and stuff like that'll be. So, which is great. Your playback engine, you can select your specific playback engine that you're using. All that'll be here. Uh, your buffer size, everything you need will be right here. Your cache size, really, really, really self-explanatory when dealing with Pro Tools. All your IO settings are here. Right now, I don't have an interface plugged into this, so I'm running off of my MacBook speakers. That's why you see MacBook Pro speakers, one and two, left and right. That's my output right now. So like I said, if you guys have any questions about Pro Tools, even though I am the Studio One guy, I am very, very proficient with Pro Tools. I am Pro Tools certified. So if you guys have any questions about Pro Tools, man, don't hesitate to ask. That's what I'm here for. Let's go. Yes, sir. Pro Tools is a great doll. And once you guys start using it, you'll really understand it more. Like I said, this was just a quick overview. I wanted to point out some things with Pro Tools so you can go ahead and get started recording. You can get started mixing, making beats, whatever you choose to do. I just wanted to go over Pro Tools to help you guys out. Hey, if you're thinking about switching to Pro Tools, let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, if you use Pro Tools, let's talk about that in the comments below as well. Let me know what you like about Pro Tools, man. Do me a favor. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, check out my website, mixedbygels.com, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm gone.